Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at another example of polynomial division using synthetic division. If you haven't seen our intro video for how this process works, make sure you go back and watch that and come back here when you're ready. So we're going to look here at an example of using synthetic division when we don't just have x plus or minus a number, but when we have a coefficient other than 1 in front of the x. So that's going to change our process just a bit. Um, and so let's see what that looks like. So we know that in our box here, we always take what the 0 would be if this, if our divisor was a factor. So if 4x plus 1 was a factor, or if it was set equal to 0, let's see what we would get as our root. So subtracting over that 1, and then dividing by the 4, we get x equals negative 1 fourth. So that's what we're going to have in our box. We're going to bring each of our coefficients over just like normal. So that's going to be 8x to the fourth, 38x cubed, 5x squared, 3x, and 3 as our constant. So the process starts out the same way. So we'll still be bringing down that 8. And then we'll be doing our multiply around, add down process. So negative 1 fourth times 8, that is negative 2, add down. So 38 plus negative 2 is 36. Negative 1 fourth times 36, that is negative 9. And then add down. 5 plus negative 9 is negative 4. Negative 1 fourth times negative 4 is positive 1. So then we add down. 3 plus 1 is 4. Negative 1 fourth times 4 is negative 1. And then we'll add down. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. Okay, so at this point, normally, we would have our remainder here, and then all of these other numbers would be our coefficients in our answer. But because we have this difference of having the 4 in front of the x, we have to take an additional step of dividing each one of these coefficients by that 4 that was in the front. Okay? So that makes our answers, our actual coefficients, let's see, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 36 divided by 4 is 9, negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. We go ahead and leave our remainder alone. We don't mess with that one. We only divide the others. And those become our constant, our coefficient for x, x squared, and x cubed. So our answer is 2x cubed plus 9x squared minus x plus 1 plus our remainder of 2 over our divisor of 4x plus 1. So now you might be thinking, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to divide by that coefficient of 4? Well, remember, when we're doing division here, our answer kind of comes in the form of whatever you divided by, 4x plus 1, times your answer. So let's think for a second just about the first term. If we took that 8 to be our coefficient of x cubed. So let's say we just had the 8x cubed here. Well, we know that to check any division problem, we could do multiplication to see if we get back to our original answer. So if I did 4x times 8x cubed, that would give me 24x to the fourth as my first term. But I'm supposed to have 8x to the fourth. So that's not right. 
When we look at our answer after we've divided, so taking that 4x plus 1 divisor times our answer of 2x cubed as our first term that we got afterwards, and checking that, 4x times 2x cubed gives us 8x to the fourth which is what we're supposed to have as our first term. So it just corrects that error when we have a coefficient in front of the x. Now this process can be a little odd depending on what your fraction is over here. So these problems, just a reminder, can always you can always go back and do these by long division. But if you want to do them by synthetic division, just remember you need to go that extra step of dividing by that lead coefficient. All right, guys, that does it for this video on polynomial synthetic division. We'll catch you in the next one.